We've covered the tangent line problem, which is one of the classical problems in calculus. But another very, very classical problem is the idea of the area issue. So if we go all the way back to elementary school, probably, you remember that the area of a rectangle is the base times the height. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that very, very simple, simple definition to think about a very complex problem. So in red, which may be difficult to see, I have a function. And it's the same function on both of these axes. I have, it goes up, it comes down. It goes up, it comes down. And I might want to ask myself, well, how do I get the area of that function, or at least the area between the x-axis and the function within the points where it start, goes up and comes down? So I want to figure out all the area that's in that region that's carved out. Well, what we find is that we can do this using rectangles and a little bit of cleverness that we'll get to eventually. So if I'll take a look here, what I can do is, all right, I'm going to define three rectangles. And how am I going to figure out the heights and the widths of these, or the base and the height of these rectangles? Well, the base is simply going to be the x distance. So it's 2, 2, 2, and technically 2 over here. But I need to figure out the height of these rectangles. What we're going to do is on the right side, it's going to, the height is going to be whatever the function value is there. So I'm going to put a rectangle here, a rectangle here, a rectangle here, where the height, height, height. And technically you pick the height over here, but since that height is 0, you don't get a rectangle. So I have three rectangles, and I'm going to use that to approximate. I'm going to say, ah, it's roughly three rectangles, these three rectangles. And the rectangles are easy to solve for, right? It's base times height. However, there's a lot of error. So the errors that are coming toward, the lines that are sort of coming towards me, these are the errors where we've underestimated. They're pieces that are missing from the curve. The errors that are kind of going away, or the lines that are going away from me, are the places we've overestimated. So I have a lot of error here. I didn't pick up any of that with my rectangle. I missed a little bit here. I overestimated and I overestimated. And you may say, well, those errors will cancel each other out. And they might, but it's hard to know for sure. Over here, what I did is I did the same process, but instead of going every two, I went every one tick mark. So I end up with the same process, but they all have width 1, and their heights are still the points on the curve at that x value. So I have some underestimation here, here, and here. But notice that each of those little strips is less than this giant chunk. And I have some overestimates here, but each of those overestimates are less than than those over here. Now there's more of them, but they're but the estimates are at each point better. So what do you think would happen if instead I sliced it every half length or quarter length or whatever? What I would get is I would get these thin strips, right? And each thin strip might have a little bit of error, but what we're going to find for at least the functions that we're going to deal with is even though those errors are there and there's more of them, they go to zero faster than they accumulate. So the idea being the error gets cut more quickly than the amount of errors grow. So even though the number of errors is growing this way, the amount of each of them is shrinking so fast that the total error shrinks to zero. And that's the fundamentals of calculus is is setting it up in such a way that even though you accumulate an infinite amount, what you accumulate is nothing, so it just goes away. And that's the idea behind the area problem, and we're going to solve this, and this is the fundamentals of the integral. That is, that is a basic calculus concept that we are going to, that you're going to use throughout your entire calculus career and has applications, just unlimited number of applications in the real world.